Most salesmen will go through all that legwork and still won't say, hypothetically, if the payments is right and the price is right, can I earn your business today? Okay, it's either gonna be a yes or no answer, or a maybe. If they say maybe, say, okay, what does it take? I wanna see numbers. Okay, just cause you get numbers don't mean you're gonna sell them the car. But that's your job. You wanna get them on paper and try to close them. But if you don't answer for the sale, you don't know if you're gonna get it or not. I've seen guys walk around the parking lot for an hour and a half with a customer and never ask them for the sale. Show them cars, slam doors, you know, go through the hood, test drive four, five, six cars, and they don't ask, can I earn your business today? So there's gonna be three answers, yes, no, or maybe. If they say no, say hypothetically, if that was what you liked, could I earn your business? They'll tell you, oh, well, you know, if it was this or if it was that, and you know, if you could give me this for my trade, and then they'll start talking, well, okay, what if I could give you this for your trade? Could I earn your business? They might say, yeah, come on in. That don't mean you're gonna close them, but as long as you can get them to the desk and you can sit them down, you got a shot, okay? Now, here, the close. There's 25,000 different ways to close a deal. But I'm going to use two today, and I want you guys to reflect back when I did the meet and greet, okay? When I asked the customers what their goals were. I closed two deals off of asking what the goals is. One, I'm going to start down here at the bottom, my little chicken scratch. I had a customer come in, and I meet and greet. I asked them what their goals were. She specifically told me three hours before we got to these numbers, that she was driving a Cherokee, it was costing her $120 a week in gas, it was costing her $650 a week a month in gas to go 120 miles a week, okay? They was looking to buy a Mini because they wanted to save money on gas. But she also said, we ain't got but $12,000, okay? They was looking at a car that was a uh, 17.9, okay? Didn't fight them, I said, I understand. We found a car that they liked, they drove it. We came in and sat down, and I'm just gonna keep this short, we started talking. They made me an offer 12.5 on this car. I said, I understand. <clears throat> the car's 17.5. Now we're $5,000 away. Now, the point is, once we got to 12.5, all we was arguing that it was over $5,000. We were arguing over 17.9. Follow me? When we first came in, we was arguing over 17.9. Now we're down to $5,000. So we're more than a halfway to where she wanted to be. So as we got to talking, she said, they, I remember she said she had a car that she was selling to her cousin, that was half her money, the other half was coming out of savings, which gave him 12,500. So I took out a separate piece of paper, and I wrote down, I remember Mrs. Baker, you said that you was driving 120 miles a week, it was costing you $650 a month in gas, even though you had the title to your car. I said, if you take that $650 that you spend in a month in gas, times 12 months, that's $7,800 you spend in gas, okay? We're $5,000 apart. If you just take $2,600 of that and kick it back, put down on this car, now we're less than half of this away. We're only $2,400 away. Now, if you take that 650 times 12 is $7,800 times five, that's $39,000 in the next five years. If you keep that Cherokee, you're gonna spend in gas. Follow me? $39,000 in gas. When she was buying a car that was gonna give her 35 miles to a gallon. I said, so how can you not buy this car, even if it's $5,000 more? If you take five off of 39, you got uh, 34. You're still saving $34,000 in gas. And her and her husband wanted to talk. I got up out of the room. I walked away and I came back and they said, all right, Tony, we can find another $5,000. Let's do this deal. And I didn't close the deal. They closed the deal because they told me at the beginning when I meet and I greeted them and I asked them what their goals were, they wanted to save gas. They wanted to save money. So I remembered that. So I'm going to sit down for me to close. I'm not smart. I just remember what she said. Did you need me, sir? Got a question? Customer. Okay. Uh, so the bottom line is, remember what the customer tells you. Use it to your advantage and close the deal. Simple as that. And to close this out, always ask for referral and repeat business because that's what's going to help you in the long run, okay? So remember, be patient, be humble, take your time, remember what the customer tells you, listen and hear what the customer says, and always ask for the sale, and you can last 10, 15, 20 years, and 30 years in this business without having a heart attack. That's all. I appreciate you coming out, and thank you.